so good morning so we are moving to the next practical that is the practical number 7 and it is regarding to the implementation of the access points so let us start we need to implement the wireless access point and we need to show the connectivity so for the showing the connectivity we require two wireless devices that is two access point and here i am having this access point that is ap.pt so i will take two access points so this is the access point 1 and this is your access point 2 I need to configure this access point so what I will do I will just double click on this access point and I will go to the config this is the switch on and switch off button we, not, we need not to do anything because it is already switched on we need not to put any kind of plug over here so it is quite simple so just do not switch off this if it is switched off it, it is not uh, any kind of green light over there just you need to click on this button to make it on but as of now it is on and by default it is in on position so you need not to do anything then you need to go to the config position there are two interfaces port 0 and port 1 the port status is on bandwidth is 100 mbps and the duplex is half duplex we are not going to change anything over there this is the port status and here I need to add the SSID I need to define two networks so one network CS that is computer science and again I will define WPA to PSK key that is a same key I am going to use that is the Cisco packet 1 so the password for accessing this access point is Cisco packet 1 I will copy this password for the better use or for better implementation then I have done the configuration of access point 1 that is access point 0 actually the first access point and here I am having the second access point you can see it is already in on position again I will go to the config here you need to check the post status is on or off if it is off then you need to make it on bandwidth is 100 mega mbps duplex is half duplex go to the port 1 change SSID as IT and WPA PSK key as a Cisco packet tracer 2 so I have done the configuration of second access point also now I need to connect machines so what I will do I will simply connect this is machine 1 and this is my machine 2 this is again machine 1 for access point 1 and this is uh, machine second for access point 2 so here I need to just uh, configure those kind of machines so first I will set up the static IP addresses so I am setting the static IP address as 192.168.1.2 and the default gateway will be 192.168.1.1 I am not going to send any kind of DNS server over there here I do the same thing 192.168.1.3 192.168.1.1 similarly I will do it for the second network that is 171.16. something 10.2 172 171 actually dot 16 dot 10 dot 1 and here I will set the IP address for the second machine that is 171.16.10.3 dot 10 dot 3 171.16.10.1 so I'm done with setting all those kind of IP addresses now you can see this is exactly the wired device so I need to convert that wired device to wireless device so we know how to convert go to the physical option switch off this machine and replace your wired component with wireless and then make it on similarly you need to do the same thing for PC1 that is second machine replace the wired component with wireless and make it on so I will do the same thing for the rest of the machines fine now I need to connect this access point with this uh, machine so access point 0 I will just name it uh, as a CS and here I will name it as a IT so I need to connect CS with these two machines 
we'll name it as a CS dash one and we'll name it as a CS dash two. Name this PC as IT dash one and this one as a IT dash two. So now I need to connect this CS1, CS2 to the CS access point. So I will go to this uh, CS1, I will go to the config, I will go to the wireless, we'll add this default SSID as a CS and just copy your password over there and let us wait for the connection. Yes, the connection is established successfully. Now I will do the same thing for this uh, second machine. Go to the config, write down the SSID as a CS and give the password and wait for the connection yes it is connected successfully so what I will do I will just uh, try to connect these two machines but before that uh, let me float the packet whether let me check whether the packets are going from CS1 to CS2 or not yes successful so the connection is established successfully now I will do the same thing for the IT1 go to the config uh, give the SSID as IT WPA PSK will be Cisco packet 2 and you can see the connection is established yes this is established now let's go for the second one I will give the name as IT and will give the password as Cisco packet tracer 2 uh, so I need not to change any kind of other things like the MAC addresses etc MAC addresses is default one so need not to check and change anything just you need to change uh, this uh, SSID and this WPA2 PSK because you have selected that kind of authentication mechanism. So you can see now the machines are connected to the access point. You can see the successful connection between IT1 and IT2. Now I need to perform a network communication between two access points or between uh, the machines of CS1 and the IT1 or IT2 and from CS2 to IT1 or IT2 so uh, let us have two routers I am taking 1841 router and then you need to connect this router so here I will connect fast ethernet with port 0 and similarly I will connect the fast ethernet with port 0 I need to configure this router so I will go to the config I will click on the fast ethernet and I will give the default gateway as the IP address and make it on and let us wait till it get converted into green similarly I will do the same thing for this second machine fast ethernet 171.16.10.1 make it on and then I need to connect uh, these routers serially so I will connect the routers serially over here So I need to set the IP address for the serial cable that is 20.20.20.0.0.1 make it on and set uh, clock rate equal to 64000 and also I need to set the serial cable IP address over here 64000 ok I need to check about the port let me make it on let me check why it is not converted into red okay, let me delete this router and let me add this router again so this is the 1841 and let me connect this router let me make it on yes now it is converted you can see the line is converted into green 
Similarly, I will do the same thing for 1841. You can take this kind of copper crossover wire and you need to set the IP address. Device is still booting. Okay, no issue. Here I will set the IP address as 171.16.1 default gateway and make it on. So it's converted into green. And now let me check whether they are connected, means the routers are connected with machine or not. Okay, it's coming as a failed. Let me check it again. It's so coming as a fail, so I think we need to set uh, the routing mechanism and then we will check whether it is coming or not. So now I will connect these two routers serially. We will set the IP address as 20.0.0.1, make it on, and similarly, I will do the same thing for the next router now let me check okay it is coming as a successful it is again coming as a failed so i think we need to just configure the routing so i will go to the rip i will select version 2 Go to the config, add 20.0.0.0 and 192.168.1.0. So it's been added over here. Let me check the IP address. Okay, it's been converted into DSCP. That's why it was not taking. So let's roll back our IP addresses. Fine. Similarly, I will do the same thing for this one that is 171.16.10.2, 171.16.10.1, and uh, this one will be 171.16.10.3, 171.16.10.1. So now let me check the connectivity coming again as a fail now it is successful so from router 2 i am able to ping to cs machine and uh, here let me send this packet again it is also successful so i am able to ping from this router to cs1 and cs2 let me check for the it the first packet is getting failed because it's trying to build the routing table So you can check, now I am able to ping from router to machines. So let us set uh, the routing, so in RIP I have done, uh, I have done these two addresses, done with these two addresses because this one is uh, up upon sending the packets over 20th network and this one is upon sending the packets to the, the network which is connected to the access point PT1 with the default gateway as a 192.168.1.1. Similarly, I will do the same thing for the second router. We will go to the router RIP version 2 configs. We will add 171.16.10.0 and 20.0.0.0. So let us start. Let me check whether IT1 is connected to the router 2. Yes, IT1 is successfully connected to the router 2. Router 3 is also connected successfully with CS2 and you can see IT2 and CS1 are connected. Similarly, CS2 and IT1 is also connected. So this is your practical number 6. Thank you.